Welcome to Hawkopedia Food Crawl Singapore River Edition Part 1. Today we are at Robertson Key, which is one of the three keys along the Singapore River. Robertson Key is the most chill among the three keys with extensive range of bistros and restaurants. Now the three keys are managed by Singapore River One. They're the guys responsible for all the fun things happening along Boat Key, Clark Key and of course Robertson Key. We will be checking out four different places in Robertson Key featuring cuisines from Spain, Italy, Middle East and France. Let's go! Our first stop is Tapas 24. Now, this branch in Robertson Key is the first outpost of the popular tapas bar from Barcelona. The Singapore branch is really new, having opened in May 2021. Tapas 24 in Barcelona is run by Michelin star chef Carles Albea. And in Singapore, the head chef is Carolina. Hi, and we have Chef Carolina that would explain to us the different foods that you've prepared. We can start with the cherry clams. Second is the brown paella. And the last one is the bikini. Now I can't wait to dig in because it smells really good, right, John? Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> so, let's go. Why do you think it's called bikini? Because it looks like this, right? It's like the bottom of a Well, is it because it looks like a bikini like this? Yeah, yeah. That's why it's... <laughs> right? Am I right? Am I right? Well, it is named after a popular dance hall called bikini. And this is actually a popular snack. Look at how nice and flat they've got the bread. Okay, and what's inside? Truffle and serrano ham. And I believe there's some cheese to it. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Wow, that is, that is really good. First bite I get, strong truffle taste, followed by the mozzarella cheese, mm -hmm. and then a bit of the savouriness of the uh, ham. This is really good. <laughs> Alright, next up we're going to try their clams al hio in sherry. So I've got a piece with some abirico ham, mm -hmm. with uh, of course the uh, sherry seasoning. Mm. Sherry, a much better choice than the usual white wine. It's much more savoury. Right. Especially with that bite of ham. Mm. Yeah. To me, the star of this dish is actually the sauce. Because it is so rich in flavour, it would have gone really well with crusted bread. Mm -hmm. So our next dish, we're going to try the paella de gambas al ajillo. The best bit of a paella is the socceret. It is actually the caramelised bits. So as I go along, you can see the sides and the bottoms are actually the crusty bits of the paella. Mm -hmm feeling like you're kind of cooking this rice in the middle of the ocean, having it on the spot. So we are ending our stop here at Tapas 24 with a refreshing drink known as the El Rebujito. <laughs> El Rebujito. El Rebujito, okay, you're right. But I know that this is uh, made of uh, sherry and soda. It's supposed to be a really refreshing drink that mm -hmm. they have in the south of Spain. Strong. That is good and that really is strong. so strong. Salud. Yeah. Lucas Trattoria serves homely Tuscan cuisine. Only quality ingredients are used here. They even have a pasta making counter whereby you can see fresh pasta being made. Yeah, and today we have three of their specialties in front of us. We have the Papadelli con il Cogniglio, the Zuppa Fagilio al Fiasco, the Tordelli Lucchese. <laughs> so we're going to start with the Papadelli con il Cogniglio, all right, which is of course a pasta dish with Papadelli pasta. They also have some bolotti beans, also known as cranberry beans here in Singapore. As well as rabbit meat. Well, Sean, you're really taking a big bite out mm -hmm. of it. How does the rabbit meat taste like? It is a game meat, but it's not that gamey. And the sauce has a nice um, meaty flavour to it. Mm. The rabbit meat is really tender. It has been simmered for six hours. 
so the flavor has already been absorbed in the meat. Our next dish, which is the Tordelli Lucchese. Lucchese is actually things or people from Luca. And Luca is located right next to, uh, well, it's near Pisa. Oh, oh, that, yes, that tower thing. Yeah, the leaning tower of Pisa. Ooh, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna get some with the sauce. Oh. It's got a strong tomato flavor, which I love. It's gonna give you a nice acidic tomato taste with the savoriness of the pork and the bacon bits. Just have it in a whole bite, enjoy everything. It is a great dish, loving it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah in case you're wondering what that is, <laughs> that is their made in-house gelato. They have a wide range, so if you've done your meal here at Luca's Trattoria and you still have some space for dessert, Check out their homemade gelato. I personally am a sweet tooth. This is called the Janduya. Hazelnut and a bit of chocolate. So, something like an opposite of a Nutella. Nutella has more chocolate and then less hazelnut, but this has more hazelnut and less chocolate. And what I have here is the pistachio. This is really good, especially with the nut sprinkle on top. Gives it a crunch. Melts not only in your mouth, but also in your heart. We are now at Shabastan, a Middle Eastern restaurant specializing in Persian cuisines. They have been around since 2013 and they have an extensive menu that actually caters to vegan, gluten-free and vegetarian options. Yeah, you know, most of my experience with Middle Eastern food is uh, kebabs, so I'm really looking forward to this. Hi, how's everyone? Okay, today we have the lamb kubide. This is our signature dish. Korma sabzi, fasinjan duck. Thank you. We are going to enjoy it now. Please enjoy. First of our main courses, which is the lamb kubide. Yeah. Also kind of known as a lamb kebab, but kubide. Mm. Mm. I'm in love. Wow. <laughs> it's really soft. It's very juicy, tender. So next up, we have the gourmet shabsi. And this is actually a lamb stew with a medley of different herbs and yep. vegetables, right? Yes, and a very interesting ingredient, mm -hmm. sun-dried lime. Wow! I'm just gonna get a big spoonful here, check that out. I think I can even see, I thought I saw some red beans in there as well. I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure I did. Can I eat? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Okay? Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's very hearty. I can taste the bean flavor in it. This has been cooking for hours, I believe, I believe six hours at least. And it's actually the national dish of Iran, from what I've heard. This is amazing. So for our final dish, it is actually the fasengin. So what is in the fasengin? All right, so we have duck. Mm -hmm. We have pomegranates. We have crushed walnuts, all mixed into this lovely stew. That sauce does not taste like what it looks like. It's actually a little bit sweet. So I guess it's coming from the pomegranate. And I can taste the duck fat from the oh, gravy yeah. itself, right? Yeah, this is <laughs> so ducking good. So that was our stop here at Shabistan, and it really opened my eyes to how great Persian food really is. You know, we got all sorts of flavors like a spicy, tangy, uh, aromatic yeah, stuff, right? aromatic rice, and huh? you know, it's such a good mix of flavors, and they all go well to each other in their own little way. We would love to stay for more, but we have another stop to hit. Yeah. So we'll see you there. See ya! So for our last stop, we are here at Le Bouchon, which is one of the most well-known steakhouses in Singapore. Yeah. And they are popular for their steak frites. Essentially, that is steak and french fries. And of course, the yeah, French fries is free flow with steak. So today we cook for you our uh, bestseller steaks. So I will start with the Côte de Boeuf here. We have the Opi Rib Giant uh, Côte de Boeuf, beef black Angus ribeye. And after we will have uh, the tenderloin filet, what is a smaller piece, but the tender piece of beef. And uh, like we say in French, bon appétit. All right, we've got our ribeye steak with the vigneron butter. Mm. 
that's so juicy. juicy. So juicy. The minute you you bite that meat, all the juice is just like. <laughs> <laughs> this beef, it has no fats, and it is still packed with flavors. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna try the mayonnaise sauce. Mmm. I'm so touched by this piece of meat. Like I have tears in my eyes. All right, so the star of the show, the Coute de Boeuf, which is basically a prime rib. Uh, this is meant to serve too. Now, of course, this is a bone-in cut. And the beauty of a bone-in cut is that the meat that's always closer to the bone has more flavor. So I can't wait to taste what this is going to be like. It is really, really beautiful with the colors. Mm. I love the cuts that are close to the bone. It's so true. They are always so much more flavorful. That pure beef flavor. You get that flavor of beef. Oh man, it comes out through your nostrils, on your taste buds, the back of your mouth, all there. Oh, cheers. cheers. That's it for this episode of Hawkopedia Food Crawl, Singapore River Edition Part 1. We hope that you enjoy as much as we did and we will see you the next episode. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Like, like and share, share the video.